let's do some um, good news, bad news, mixed news. Uh, there's no bad news. Uh, good news is uh, we are making uh, downtown alive, uh, bringing new hope and life into downtown. And when I say we, I don't take any direct credit at all. Uh, the council typically hears ideas from uh, our illustrious staff and where things make sense and are economically feasible, we're behind them 100%. But I noticed on your list uh, was Kingston Park. I don't know about others of you who might be listening or, or standing nearby, but I didn't ever really notice what a dank, empty, uh, sore thumb looking place that little park was. Uh, it was so nondescript that I think people tried their best not to pay any attention to it. Um, I'm among them, I'd, I'd be the first to say. But with uh, the creative touch of um, our arborist, Lily, uh, Wanda Lily, and uh, some other people with the city, um, and the, the support of the city administrator, that is going, it's just about right this minute, the most beautiful spot in, in the town. Uh, it's, a, it's a big intersection in the sense that when you see downtown Conway, that is a central location. It sits on the corner of Main and 4th Avenue. Uh, there's as much traffic that passes that intersection as any downtown. And there is a spectacular mural. Um, um, and if I say the name of the train, I'll be wrong. But a train, a replica of a train, that actually ran down Main Street in Conway, the first train to run through. Uh, well, well, well done. I can't imagine uh, how any artist could have better captured that train and its movement. Um, it has a couple of buildings in the background, it has a tree, it has some people around the area. Uh, the rest of the that park is just filled with opportunities to sit. There's a, a knee wall on two sides of it, uh, patio tables and chairs are uh, being shipped to us today, and there's going to be other seating as well. It's a, it's a bit of a noisy intersection, but with the water feature that's there, and <coughs> please, and and with the pipe in music, and with the ambiance of what is just so visually attractive. Hopefully that that vehicular noise just won't be the, the deterrent that we right. think it might be. <coughs> There's been some discussion about that mural and uh, a question has been posed to me about why there are no African American people uh, depicted in that mural. As it turns out, um, we purposefully asked that the identification of, of race and ethnicity not be something that would be really obvious <coughs> I need my challenge. We're trying to get some water down. To anyone who uh, would think that there are no African Americans, they only need to get out of their car and walk a little closer. Uh, I think very clearly, um, if you look at the uh, fundamental descriptors we use for people of color, for example, um, having to do with uh, particular facial features that are different from our European. Um, brothers, uh, you'll see that some of those people do in fact represent uh, races that are not Caucasian and are not European. Um, this takes time to work. Uh, when you have a sepia tone, you know, it's close to black and white, but it's called sepia tone. Um, artist production, you don't have a, a, a much opportunity to um, graduate flesh tones, but again, like I said, that was on purpose. So let's just discard any talk there is about how this uh, a bunch of white uh, white only uh, people in and around that train. That right. is not the case at all. Uh, dispel the myth, come look for yourself, and come enjoy the beautiful park. They're putting in more plantings, and, and it is just fantabulous. It's, I mean, the first time I wanted up there to see the fish project down here, brought to it from my hands, it's really that beautiful. There's also a garden walkway that sits halfway the, the main block of 3rd Avenue, uh, about halfway between Main Street and Laurel Street. 
It's just a one block meandering walkway that connects the alley to Third Avenue with some of the most beautiful plantings you've ever seen. There's a, um, um, a, a chair and table uh, that sit in the middle if you want to just sit and, and use your laptop for a few minutes or, or have a bite to eat. There are a couple of restaurants nearby um, that offer the kinds of food that would be perfect to go outdoors and sit, and especially a day like today. But if, if you want to get rid of your troubles, if you want to recognize the beauty of nature, if you want to just see what a creation God has made right here in our own hometown, uh, there's nothing more beautiful than that tiny little garden walk through and, and Kingston Park. So that's just the beginning. For those of us who don't venture more, no more than two blocks away from our existing homes, <laughs> and you do have a few blocks like that, so, uh, uh, give us the, um, please give us an exact location as to where Kingston Park is. Okay, Kingston sits at the intersection of 4th Avenue and Main Street. Uh, it is, for those of us who have some history, it is about two doors down from where Mr. Archie Johnson's shoe shop was. Uh, uh, right on the right. Gives you, yes, yeah. and yeah. where the, the theater of the Republic shows its plays. There is the Theater of the Republic, then there is a um, Rivertown Brewers, and not Brewers. It's a coffee house. Mm -hmm. So what do you call coffee people? They don't brew, they... they Maybe it is Brewers. Okay. I thought that was people. They brew coffee. Yeah. Okay, the Rivertown <laughs> coffee. 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 coffee House, yeah. and it's next door. Um, those of you familiar with the um, the uh, Jamaican restaurant that sits on the corner. Right. It, it faces there, so I mean, it's not like you can lose it. It sits at the intersection. Um, if you're facing uh, the 905 bridge, what most uh -huh. of us call cross the bridge, when you get there, um, it is like a block. It is two blocks from this side of the bridge, on the, on the, um, down t on the town side of the bridge. Yeah. Um, but a lovely little park. Um, I mean, it's not massive. You're not going to lose your way. It just is a corner lot that was ill used in the past that really? has been made to be a really pretty um, indicia of who the people of Conway are. It, it says that, that we're cool people and that we love art and beauty um, and nature. So go out and see it. Now, the other one I talked about that, that um, garden walkthrough sits between 3rd Avenue and the alley on the back side of City Hall. Uh, can't tell you the name of the alley off the top of my head, but at any rate, um, it's just a block long. It's just a beautiful meandering little alley with a bistro table and a chair and music and plants that are all indigenous to this area yeah. that are kept very, very well. Is there a church back there? There is not. This is, you're thinking opposite side of Main Street. Okay. This is sort of, if you think of, of City Hall as facing Main Street, then this would be behind City Hall. Oh, okay. um, there are about two or three storefronts between the back of City Hall and this little opening where, right. this, where this place is. Now, I understand that uh, Conway's about to have its first parklet. About a year ago, maybe 18 months ago, City Council approved parklets. Parklet? A parklet, and that is a, a place where uh, there it is is an existing um, brick and mortar restaurant that right. sits, and um, in places where traffic would allow it, uh, we're allowing those business owners to move part of their package to the outside. There are a lot of people who like outside dining, and so you block off as many as two parking spaces. And you have to do some barricading to make sure that people would be safe out there. Yeah. But um, I understand the Cricket Oak Tavern is going to be the first um, restaurant downtown that actually uses a parklet. Oh. Um, you might know, you might recall that we also approved busking in downtown Conway about the same time. There were three things approved, parklets, busking, and food trucks. Um, surprisingly, when it comes to food trucks, you would think that the community of people who pay high rents to have a building for a restaurant would be opposed right. to having food trucks come. 
As a matter of fact, it's just the opposite. Yeah. They want it there because what happens is when you when a community gets known for having food, this is where you go for food and there there various offering whatever number of people you've got in your group. Um, there's something there for everybody. So if you can be have your building within a couple of blocks of a, of a food truck and have a variety of offerings and people come. They really do enjoy it. So, so we, we just, no, okay, so now explain what busking, how you spell it? The U-S-K-I-N-G. So a busker is, is uh, a street performer. So in, in larger cities, uh, it's not unusual at all to walk down the street and see somebody yeah, with playing, yeah, playing a horn or yeah. a guitar or drums or uh, doing a little um, break dancing or, I mean, they're, they're art forms. Right. Um, we control the content um, to make sure that whatever's done is decent. Uh, we control the number of days a week a person can come. But they can put out a hat or a jar or their guitar case right. and get it open. To yeah. make tips yeah. more people exactly. come by, Absolutely. but I mean it can it can start to make your downtown a really hip place to be. Um, I went to a, um, a, a basketball game in Charlotte just a few weeks ago, and I mean it was just wonderful to walk out of the stadium. Is it called a stadium? Yeah, yeah. Good the basketball game. Oh, walk the arena. The arena. Yeah. 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 Walk out of the arena and have this band outside mm -hmm. playing. Just a, an organ. Not so organized, but a group. I guess they've worked together before because the music sounded so good. But but that's the kind of thing that's allowed. So right. I mean the the permit is extremely inexpensive, uh, ten fifteen dollars a year. Really? And um, a person comes in, they apply. There there aren't many requirements at all. And um, I've actually only seen one such person perform downtown. But it may be something for you to do. You know, you just never know who's going to see your mm -hmm. talent. That's true. Who is going to walk up and say, oh my goodness, I, I have a business somewhere and I'd like for you to come in and perform. So it's a chance to introduce yourself and your skill. And that and, brings people. And the entertainment. Yeah, brings yeah. people to, to be uh, patronized by other retailers. That's right. That's oh, exactly that's right. right. Yes. Um, so those three things in the downtown and the uh, um, Norman Alley, I believe, is the alley between uh, Fair Fashion, uh, Charlene Butler's uh, formal mm -hmm. wear shop, mm -hmm. and um, Trestle. And the Trestle, thank you so much. And we've got lights there at night. We've got lights in Kingston Park, and there are lights in the um, in the in the new garden walkthrough. Uh, we're also as a coming attraction, we're going to put lights in the main alley that connects. Uh, Laurel and Main, uh, right in the center of town. What there used to be a dentist's office up on the second floor. Uh, it's behind the old Abrams and okay. uh, and and all those Third Avenue shops like uh, yeah. curtains and things and all that. So that alleyway between there is going to be lit up. And what we're hoping um, in not a lot of time is that um, there will be some artist renderings in that alleyway. That there may be opportunity to have some entertainment and, and, and wine and music on Friday evenings or on Saturdays on the weekend, but give people a, a reason to come down here. This is really changing the aesthetic of Conway because when I saw the uh, Kingston Park the other night and the lights were on, immediately I thought of like your Asheville, Winston-Salem, they do that downtown Winston-Salem, and it's like, yeah, it's like a breath of fresh air. It was very, it's very nice on that corner. Yeah, very nice. It's so well. It April. is so well. So it sort of started. I don't know where it started, but um, a couple of years ago, some of the some of the business owners uh, would leave their their white lights, their Christmas lights, up after Christmas was over. And I think one remarkable addition to that has been at Fifth and Main, mm -hmm. where we've got this magnificent oak tree sort of hanging over Main Street. And it is lit, mm -hmm. I mean, substantially lit. I mean, that thing will catch your eye no matter where you are. So the old tree in front of um, City Hall is now kept on all year. And right in that corridor, right in that third to fourth avenue of Maine, there are more lights than we've ever had before. Actually, down to Fifth Avenue, now that we've got Fifth and Maine. And 
you know, if we become known as the city of, of lights, I mean, you can do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, works, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, so it's good for people who, just for the sake of, of having a, a nice brisk walk, or those people who just want to walk off dinner, or those people who enjoy window shopping. Mm -hmm. with riding a bicycle. Yeah. Riding a bicycle. Uh, yes. <laughs> do you do that too? Yes, yes ma'am. Me too. Mm -hmm. um, we have to watch the local police. Um, I, I got cited for riding my bicycle, but I mean, I'm sure it's all intended to be good. I was told by the officer that I wasn't dressed properly. I wasn't wearing a helmet. <laughs> wow. I wasn't wearing long pants. And what else did he say? Um, I was a poor example for children whose parents were trying to make sure that they wore a helmet. And he also said that I was riding too fast. Oh, so but, now that's the story of my life. Well, now, now I have a new reason. I'm sorry. Well, no, 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 that's no point. Fast, well, I'm talking about with, without a helmet, okay? Because once that brain is in here, you can, you can hang that up, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I mean, it, you know, it, it doesn't look—it's not, not fashionable. It's not fashionable. It doesn't look good and all that kind of stuff. But you know, no, it's not so much how it looks when it's on. It's, it's how hot, it looks when you take it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> you know, it does a little something for the African American hairdo. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. So you can be cited for that. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. We just learned something. Today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I also learned something about. What Oh, bus, busking. 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 I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. That's a new word for the day. Yeah. Busking. Yeah. busking. That, that's yeah. like learning, um, well, not learning, but a word that was probably never used uh, uh, the way it was used on TV. That's redacting. Okay. Redacting. Yeah. yeah. Like, really? Okay. I mean, just something saying erased. Something, something that was left out or whatever. Yeah. You know, but, but, but it's a chance to learn. Right. Um, it's, a, it's a good, good chance to learn. This has nothing to do with anything that I was, I don't 12, 13 years old, mm -hmm. reading a novel, came across this word, S-P-I-G-O-T. Well, speak, speak, speak it. Yeah. Yeah, Y'all smarter than me, I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I saw that word, and first I tried to just pronounce it phonetically, and I came out with, I got, <laughs> got. And then I went back to the sentence to see what the real context was, and it had something to do with water. And I said, oh no, could that be? Is it, is it a spigot <laughs> and not a spigot? Exactly. Because I grew up thinking it was a spigot, S-P-I-C-K-E-T. Mm -hmm. and, and this S-P-I-G-O-T, again, yeah, yeah, a learning right. opportunity. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and, and that's the way I look at it. Uh, it's not that I'm, you know, uh, <laughs> dumb or anything over that knowledge. Just, yeah, just, it's a just new yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You've been exposed to what you've been exposed to. Um, some of it may not be your fault at all. Mm -hmm. And I was 60 years old when I, when I learned that the I'm L and, oh good Lord, I am 66 and a half for anybody <laughs> who might not know. But, I know that. And a half. <laughs> um, but, but I got to tell you that, um, Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, you said something, and I was going to respond to it. Uh, well, it, it was about uh, um, when we were taking uh, taking words that we were fi just finding out. You said it was exactly. 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 I was sixty yeah. years when I found out that the L in salmon is silent. Well, I didn't know that. You say, say salmon. You say salmon. I, I did. did. I did yeah, yeah, until yeah, I was 60. Summer. I was 60 years old. Teach me. Right. Really? Teach me. But it's sad. Okay. I'm it's just surprised at Brother Edward because he, he he seems to be a master of words. For someone who knows propagate, you didn't know that the L was silent. No, I really, I really didn't. Uh, I, I didn't either. Look, 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 let's give a, give a uh, call of the, uh, the chance to call I'm sure a lot of people right, don't. Right. Yeah, they yeah. just learn something new today. Except they know. Area code 843-248-6365 or 843-248-2890. Now, I was exposed to SWORD, S-W-O-R-D, when I was five. But somehow that salmon, nobody around me knew. And I mean, to this day, I'm, I'm still trying to teach people. Because if they're like me, they want to know. They want to get it right. No, no, I didn't know. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing advertisers on TV. Now, this is salmon. <laughs> Now I've never heard it on TV, Salmon. No. Yeah, that's right. TV. Yeah, on TV. Salmon. You're wrong. Hey, this, this, you this too. Is, 
Yeah, this is really. <laughs> With his boot and his back. Good, good that there's no knowledge. But anyway. But if we're still talking, um, mm -hmm. and if I've got like two or three minutes, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of there are a lot of questions out there about the 501 Yeah, 501 repaving and the bridge uh, and 701, so all that good stuff. Yeah. 501 uh, repaving is um, underway on purpose. The intersection, the same intersection where um, Kingston Park is. Uh, fifth, I'm sorry. Fourth is not all one has not been repaved. It needs it as much as anything. But we're doing an underground utility work there. So all the wiring that carries your cable, your telephone, your um, um, all those wires are coming down off the poles. The poles are going to disappear. It's going underground, and it just didn't make much sense for them to pave it. And we know it's going to be dug up in a matter of right, just a very right, few right, weeks. Right. So the paving is coming along quite well. My understanding of the bridge is that we truly are uh, looking at um, the date that's been that's been issued publicly. Now, when people uh, just in passing see me at you know a store and I'm in North Little Beach, maybe they say, "So, so when is when is the real scoop? When is that bridge going to open?" My response always is, "I feel pretty confident." That it'll be open by Christmas. And whoever I'm talking to, usually they just turn around and walk away. It's like that, that one was crazy. Uh, and that is that is a joke. But but I come from a place where I believe you predict things farther out than you believe them to be. And if it happens earlier, people are very happy with it. Yeah. If I think I can get a job done for you in a month, I'm gonna tell you six weeks. And if I get it done in three or four or even five weeks, you're going to be really happy, as opposed to me predicting the, the best possible date and then me not be able to meet it. Um, we do get uh, updates from South Carolina Department of Transportation weekly, and for the last several weeks, I mean, they uh, the reports are indicate that they are moving just as they planned since they uncovered. These um, um, they uh, have uncovered all the the new information about the structural issues mm -hmm. with with the bridge, but um, they are at the point where they're um, starting to do some um, more surface, mm -hmm. take care of more surface issues, and it looks to me like it's going to be ready in time. That's an icon. That's good, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. You mean the the one that's being repaired yeah, now? Right, yeah. Right, I right. think we didn't know how much. Just, exactly. That's just one more example of having something and losing it. Uh, we don't recognize how important it is to us um, as long as it's there and it's standing strong and we get to draw across. But first day you try to go across and there's a barrier that says you can't come this way. Um, all of a sudden. It, it takes on a new significance. Now there's perceivably one way to go to Myrtle Beach or to get to work, and people used to think that the downtown Conway Bridge was underutilized. Yeah. Now we appreciate it more. I know yeah. I do. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Really? Mayor Barbara Blaine Bellamy, definitely an icon here in Conway. We do appreciate having her here today, and she's off to handle more business. Yeah, I'm telling Most you. Most people are trying to get off work that's, at a point. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. She, you know, she's about to go and handle some more business, so that's great. It was, it was always it's good having her here in the studio, and and we'd like to thank one of our loyal listeners who let us know that you can Google the words. There will you actually find a list of all the words that have silent letters, right, right, words right. that you we're probably mispronouncing. So you, you and salmon, salmon is one of them. People say salmon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's salmon. I mean, it's salmon. I mean, I won't say it that vivid, but it's kind of silent sometimes when I say it. But it's it's not without that L in it. <laughs> you know? But believe me, I eat enough of it. So. Yeah. Uh, Good stuff. Yeah. 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 You're listening to the Whittemore Community Magazine, Our Power, right here at the PBS, 15.30 a.m. on your dial. Where? We're going to come back with some community announcements and yeah. Uh, yeah. Of stuff. special things going on, oh, some yeah. scholarship information. Uh-oh. Uh all that good uh -oh. stuff. Uh -oh. yeah, yeah. yeah, you better get ready. Get ready, get your pencils okay. ready. Get your pencils, pencils ready, because there's going to be some scholarship money given out. Okay.
My understanding is a total of about ten dollars an hour. Okay, that's, that's, that average is about a thousand dollars per awesome. per child. I mean, that's that's a couple of books. Then <laughs> you you got that right. On that, let's go to commercial. We'll be right back. Right, right. You're listening to the Whittemore Community Magazine's Hour of Power right here on WPJS thirteen thirty a.m. You can also catch us on wcmagazine.net. If you're in your office on your mobile device, WPGSradio.com, you can access us there. We're trying to cover all of our bases. You have absolutely no reason to miss this show, and we certainly do appreciate all of you tuning in today. At the top of the hour, we had Mayor Barbara Blaine Bellamy, who was giving us some updates on all the wonderful things happening in the city of Conway. Uh, lots of, uh, we, we learned some new words. Busking. Yeah. Yeah, busking. Yeah. <laughs> salmon and salmon mm-hmm. and the appropriate way to say salmon. I don't know. Uh, uh, also, <clears throat> I just wanted to, uh, of course, give a special shout out. We have uh, something that is has happened here in Horry County, uh, historical moment. I don't know if you heard about it, Brother Edward, but SHB International Hair Academy, Shanika Hammond Brown, is now officially the first African American beauty school owner in Horry County. And, and that's it. That is the SHB International Hair Academy, which is located, uh, I think that's, is that 4th Avenue? Uh, downtown, across from Conway National Bank, the old, the, the okay, okay. administrative yeah, building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Well, right. Uh, she's been working tirelessly to, to our understanding and has now uh, transformed that into the SHB International Hair Academy, LLC. She will be training uh, young people or whoever's interested in becoming a uh, cosmetologist, she will be training you at her cosmetology school. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. African American owned, black owned. Black owned. My sister. Over there. Um, <laughs> of course, that information is brought to you by the network. Yeah. Shameless plug. <laughs> oh, sorry. What do you call it? Shameless. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> We're doing big things yeah. in the black community. We're doing, <laughs> we're doing big things. Sure you're right. Thank you, Pete. This is all about the talent that we have in our own community to educate and empower one another, and we have to continue to do that. And if we don't? If we don't, who will? Okay. We don't have to reach out. You're listening to the William Moore Community Magazine right. Hour Pop right here at WPGS 1330 AM on your dial, where we mean business. We mean business. Okay, mean business. <laughs> yep, I'm telling you, you haven't, seen, you haven't seen anything yet. Hang around. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. PJ, do you want to look, can I, that's all right, it's okay. I um, just want to give a shout out to our, all of our contributors to the um, Summer Job Program, okay? Um, can't call you all of your names right now, but you know who you are. Um, we I can't say enough. And I just wanted to make that statement. Yeah. We can't say enough uh, about what you've contributed so far and you can continue to contribute. And we're just looking forward to, to uh, hosting some of our youth th- this year and, and keeping them off the street. Okay, we, it was fantastic last year. It was very successful. We got good, good, got rave reviews over that. And we want to just want to continue it up. Nobody's making any money. Okay, That's what right. comes in it just goes right back out. That's right. Okay, nobody's making any money. So our satisfaction is to see a child go from the age of 12 to to 17 alive. Just make it, make it alive. Mm-hmm. Okay, and finish high school, and then finish college. We'll see you next week, 4 p.m. We'll talk more about that later. We'll talk more about that later. Mm-hmm.